Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the shuttle bay or the shuttle hanger. And I've got the photo etch parts, well, the photo etch sheet from Paragraphics. And what I didn't do when I did the bridge was um, I didn't heat the metal. And it was kind of rigid, and I had a hard time uh, molding it to fit the bridge. So what I realized was that there's a process called annealing and what it does is it heats the metal and once it cools it'll be pliable um, so I'll be able to put the parts into the shuttle bay see these parts and um, what they'll do is they'll bend to fit and they um, you know they won't pop out basically so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my blowtorch and let me get my lighter hang on um, let me put you on hold for a second. Okay, so I got the flame, as you can see. Um, it's not very high. It's relatively low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly pass it over. going to go over each pass, um, go over it lightly, just enough to warm it up, and uh, let me put you on hold again. Okay, and um, I went over it. I put a pa You can pretty much tell when you go over it lightly with the flame, you'll see it kind of turn color a little bit, um, and then it'll kind of disappear. It's almost like something like almost burning off of it. Um, whether it's release agent or whatever it was there. But once it cools, now it'll be all set and you'll be able to actually take them off and um, bend the pieces um, and they'll fit. So that being said, this is all done and this is ready to go on to the shutter bay, the, excuse me, hanger bay. So it's time to move on to part seven of the Polar Lights build the USS Enterprise 1350 and that would be the hangar bay and because I have the lighting kit the accessory um, set from Polar Lights I won't be using the parts that came with the kit instead I'll be using the clear parts that I got in the Polar Lights um, lighting set and in addition to that I have the photo etch sheet from the paragraphics so I'm gonna be using the three sets of instructions for the shuttle bay and as you can see it's clear and the lights are gonna go all the way around and it's gonna be pretty nice and when this is done I'll show you guys the uh, the shuttlecraft or I'll do the shuttlecraft that's gonna go in it so we're ready to get started Okay, so here's the hangar deck, and what I did was, because they're clear parts, um, I went ahead and I masked off the window areas with scotch tape. Um, and when the primer is dry, I'll be putting the regular colors on, but I also have the photo etch sheet. And what I'm going to be doing is I'll be putting the parts on, and then I'll be painting it the, um, the color that it calls for. And that would be, it's a gray, what kind of a gray do they call it? They call it interior hanger gray, interior hanger accent. So I'll be doing the gray. Um, and the reason I didn't do the top part yet is because the top part, um, I'm not gonna spray the whole thing. I'm gonna do the edges and then I'm going to do the grill from the photo etch and then I'm gonna put that in so it kind of has that, oh, that thing fell kind of has that kind of a lighted like a big light panel to illuminate so it's gonna be coming along
All right, so I got all of the parts off for the hangar bay, for the shuttle bay. And you can see there's a line. I went ahead and I masked off the area on the top. You can see where that's gonna be light coming through. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on, then I'm gonna paint them the actual color, and then I'll take the masking tape off and uh, paint the windows and put the windows on. So hopefully, when I'm done, it'll look like that. Okay, so all the stuff is dry. I did the priming and I removed the masking tape. Uh, this is for the ceiling, of course. And I'm going to put the photo etch parts on, but those are going to be the dark gray that I'm going to use for it. And right now I'm going to use the airbrush and I'm going to do the walls. And it calls for interior hangar walls, um, number 14. And I'm going to use flat tan. So I'm going to airbrush the pieces and give you an update when they're all ready to uh, take the masking off. Okay, so the walls of the hangar bay are all painted, and I went ahead, I took the masks off that I put on. Let me show you up to the light, you can see the, the color came out a little bit darker than what I thought. Um, when it, when I was looking at the um, the small jar, the paint jar, up against the background. It seemed like it would be a better match than what it was. It's a little dark, but that's okay. Um, I think it'll work. I just have to put in a little bit of detail, the paint, the gray, on the uh, on the sides of the walls, and I got to put the windows in. Um, I already painted the windows, um, the same color as the the deck platform. And the ceiling part, I put in the photo etched panels. They're pretty cool. It's a shame to have to paint over them. Um, I just think they look really cool. I may paint over them. I may decide to keep them like that. But we'll see. And we've got the grid that goes in. It's all painted. Um, of course, the grid lines go into the top of the ceiling, so it's like a big illuminated panel. So it's coming together. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lights in, and I'm going to paint the detail on the walls. All right, so I went ahead, I did a little bit of the detail work. Um, I put the windows in. And I decided to paint the uh, photo etch um, grills because that's, uh, that's what it called for. But I still think it came out pretty good. Like I said, the color on the walls were, it's a little dark, but um, I can live with it. I think it'll look good when it's all lit up. And when it dries, I'll put the decals on and then do the assembly. And I have the uh, landing deck um, as well. So I'm just waiting for the stuff to dry.
So here's a little update. I went ahead and I everything was dry, so I detailed uh, with the paint. And when it dried, I put the labels on. And you can see it came out, uh, pieces came out pretty good. I don't know if you'd be able to see that, the detail, the camera. The little shuttle bay doors. I'm going to try to focus it for you. Won't focus, but that says NCC 1701. Of course, you got the landing pad for the shuttle craft. The doors are in. Panels. So it's all set to go ahead and assemble. And once it's assembled, then I'll put the lighting in on the outside. But I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's together. So I glued the pieces together. As you can see, I put a little bit of the um, acrylic to cover the cracks, try to control the lighting, the light leak. So I went all the way around, and it's so small. I don't know if you're going to be able to get in here and see. Um, see the landing bay. Let me see if I can put it to the light. Maybe you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Let me pick it up. It's the shuttle bay. All right, so I got the back shuttle bay doors on and the little part in the, in the center to house the light. And it's said to cut away some of the opening. Um, so that's what I did. And I got the light blocking acrylic and the cracks. And the inside of the hangar bay is done. The only thing that's left to put in there is the shuttlecraft. And I have a little plan um, with the shuttlecraft see if I can use magnets where I won't have to glue it in but I'll be able to um, put it in there it'll be held in place by a magnetic field and I'll be able to remove it uh, but we'll see about that that's still um, in the future well the short future for the model so let's go ahead and we're going to get the hangar bay wired and hopefully I can light it up for you So all the lights are hot glued into place, and in order to test them, I temporarily hooked them up to the circuit board to the power supply, and as you can see, all the lights are working. The inside is lit up.
keep in mind the inside of the ship, the secondary hull, it's going to be brighter. I'm going to put it bright white, so it'll be a little bit brighter on the inside as it reflects off everything, and the back windows will be lit from the lights that'll be in the ship. So it'll be a little bit more light. The bottom, of course, will light the fin, the tail, the fan tail. And with that, the shuttle hanger, the, sh the hangar bay, is complete. It's all set, it's tested, and it's ready to put into the secondary hull when the time comes.